segment of the show for today. We're talking about the attack on America, and Alana is giving us a dramatic uh, portrayal of uh, some of the things that happened, and we've tried to encourage her to sort of move it on uh, while, because we have some other things we'd like to talk to her about. Let's uh, pick up where we left off, Alana, about this attack on America. Okay, so five minutes after the first plane was hijacked, another plane got hijacked, and uh, then when the first plane was hijacked, it was supposed to be going to Pennsylvania, but for some reason it turned around and went all the way to Manhattan. Nobody knew that they were purposely trying to crash it because when the first plane hit the 105th floor of the World Trade Center, they thought it was just an accident, but when the second plane hit, they found out that it was purposely going into the World Trade Center. So then the second plane, which was going to London, I believe, that turned around and went straight, it went straight to Manhattan, but the first plane was going from the left, and then the other plane was going from the right, so, it, so the first plane was crashed into the 105th floor. You could, if you were outside, you could hear the screams of everybody just trying to save their loved ones. So the second plane crashed into there, a third plane got hijacked by al-Qaeda terrorists, but it, did, but it turned around from the World Trade Center and went straight into the Pentagon. It hit the west side of the Pentagon, so kind of right, right over here. And then it hit over there, killing, killing over 10 people in that, just in that millisecond. So a, f a fourth plane hijacked but there was a twist on this fourth plane. The people were not going to stand to die without even trying to save themselves. So after they called their loved ones, said their goodbyes, said their I love yous, they all made a pact that they would go in there and overturn the terrorists. So they all, they all buddy up, buddied up, uh, kicked down the door and overturned the terrorists, which made the terrorists actually crash because the fourth plane, which was going also to Pennsylvania, crashed about in a forest near Pennsylvania, like right outside of it. So that crash, killing every passenger and the, and the terrorists. So after that, the, the sirens were off, and the mayor was, de was in the lower floor uh, of the World Trade Center in the cafe eating when he heard a loud crash. So some of his security guards got him to the lower basement where he managed to crawl out from all the debris. Uh, then uh, an, another uh, president uh, had to evacuate his house with his kids. Luckily, they weren't even home. So they evacuated, everybody evacuated the White House because they fear that the next place that they would strike would be the White House. So to this day, people still believe that they will try and get now to the state capitol or the White House, but I fully believe that they will not succeed. Now, here's a story of one of my teacher's friends whose father looked for a job. Um, so he was, try he was going to catch this plane when he had missed his plane, and she was very upset because he really needed that job. Five minutes later, she got a note saying that the plane he was supposed to catch was the one that crashed into the World Trade Center. Mm -hmm. Now, now, isn't that a blessing? Yeah, that is that, that's mm -hmm. a blessing mm -hmm. to miss that plane. Mm -hmm. Somebody was watching over him. Look, now, now, you were talking about an event that is, has been a very, very traumatic event in uh, the experiences of uh, Americans. But now, what do you say to young children your age? Now, you're, you're now nine. You started with us when you were eight years old. Yes, you're nine years old now. If you wanted to uh, sort of encourage more people to have a better understanding, uh, people your age to have a better understanding of uh, what actually happened, what would you say to your uh, uh, age mates this morning about the attack on America and how they ought to observe it? Well, I can't be in the shoes of somebody whose father or mother is part of Al-Qaeda. But I can tell them that they shouldn't just pass along the tradition of going down and down and down from Al-Qaeda. I think you should probably do something better with your life instead of putting your life on the line just to make the government pay for, for something they do not deserve. No, nobody deserves to die. So I don't ever want a kid to think that somebody deserves it enough to die, even if you're being bullied. Nobody deserves to die. 
Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so in a real sense, you uh, observed uh, September the 11th with the rest of the nation these last few weeks and, and, and you've come away with a better appreciation of it or what uh, what kind of appreciation do you have of it now? I've seen kids go, nah, that's nothing to talk about. Well, it's really a serious issue because kids don't take this seriously enough because this is a part of their heritage. Mm -hmm. This is a part of their life and it will always be a part of their life and they can really learn more about their heritage is that I don't I don't know why you go to school, you, you, you need to learn a lot about President Obama. These kids don't learn enough about President Obama till he's dead. Mm -hmm. So I really think now that he's living, you can go to him and ask him instead when he's dead and it's too late to ask him questions about his life, you should get to learn about him before he's perished. Okay, very good. And, and, and of course, Lana, let me uh, say that uh, we are certainly encouraged by the uh, information that you've given us dealing with this uh, uh, traumatic attack on America. And uh, we're going to uh, get ready for our second commercial break. And then when we come back, we want to uh, deal with a topic that uh, I felt that uh, was a topic that, again, was not uh, exactly suited for a person who is eight years old. But I think that you've sort of amazed us with some of the things that you've already said about uh, the attack on America. And uh, I think that... Uh, it sort of reassured me that uh, I was not wrong in selecting uh, you in order to deal with such a, such a topic. I thought this topic would certainly be beyond you, but I think that you've measured up to all of our expectations in reference to it. Have you got a final word that you'd like to say in reference to this attack on America? You've got about a minute to say that before the second commercial break. Rest in peace, all the people who had died on that treacherous day, all the innocent civilians. Speaker all the innocent civilians and all the firefighters that risked their life to save others, rest in peace. And, 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 and we certainly appreciate that, and we certainly appreciate your knowledge and information of this uh, uh, topic. And, and, and I'm sure that uh, uh, you will be able to not only use the knowledge that you've gained in order to help other people, but also the uh, knowledge to uh, move forward. And we certainly appreciate that. We'll, we're going to take this second commercial break, and we're going to be back with you. And we're going to uh, be back with our audience uh, following this very, very uh, short uh, commercial break. The uh, show for the morning. <laughs>